beautiful day that has given us a chance to just sing his praises and also dwell in his presence today. Let us pray. Father, we thank you once more. We say thank you for the gift of life that you've woken us up to just come and listen to what you have for us, O oh God. Father, as we show your word, mighty Father, may this word, mighty Father, O oh God, dwell in us richly, O oh God, and also that we may be doers of your word. Father, we thank you. We glorify your name. It is in Jesus' name we pray, trusting and believing. Amen. So today, uh, we bless the Lord for his wonderful, uh, for him being just a wonderful God, is for him being a good God to us. And yesterday, or rather the past few days, we've been taught about uh, just trusting God, just believing in God, having that faith in God. Praise God. And I feel like this is what God really wants us to really understand, you know. He wants us to grow in this particular area of faith. The Bible tells us that faith without action uh, is dead. And also he tells us to believe in him. The Bible tells us in the book of Hebrews chapter 11 verse 6. Hebrews chapter 11 verse 6. I'll read the New King James Version. It tells us, but without faith, it is impossible to please him. For he who comes God must believe that he is and that he is a rewarder of those who diligently seek him. Praise God. Yeah, but without faith, it is impossible to please him. Notice, you're not talking about me and men, you're talking about God. So as you come in the presence of God, as you pray to God, as you're seeking his faith, his faith, as you're seeking uh, ways just to understand whatever is happening, or you just want to inquire of the Lord, the first thing that you have to do, Hebrews is telling us here, book of Hebrews, that we need to have faith. Because without faith, it is impossible to please God. We've seen time and time again, People that have been celebrated in the Bible, men that had faith in God, one of them is Abraham. And the reason why he was called righteous is because he had faith in God. Praise the living God. If we really want to get rewards from God, if we really want to see answers in our lives, we need to first have faith. And the opposite of faith is unbelief or doubt. Praise God. Yesterday we read about Timothy, uh, not Timothy, Thomas, the doubting Thomas. The reason why he couldn't believe that Jesus was alive is that he wanted to see him first. And that shouldn't be the case. You know, how we accepted Jesus Christ is the same thing that we need to have throughout our Christian life. Throughout our Christian life. And that is having faith in God. One way that I've, I've analyzed my life, and I've seen, one of, he has not answered all my prayers for sure. But one of the ways that I've learned that has made me understand, or it has made me, uh, it has cured the unbelief and the doubt. Because doubt is there, let me tell you. Doubt is there. You will fight it. You will fight it. But one way that I've learned to make sure that unbelief is not in my heart is through thanksgiving. Being thankful for the great things, for the small things, for the main, uh, one of the um, practices that we have in, in our family, and that is my house, my husband. 
is that truthful? We must see after dinner or before dinner or during dinner time. We must see what are you grateful for? What are you thankful for? You know? And for sure, no matter how terrible your day was, you must have something to see. Praise God. And it's a routine that I just started to le pole pole. And now it's just, it's something that we do each, each and every day. Before you start complaining how your day was terrible, start by saying, oh, I'm grateful for this day, or I'm grateful for this, or I'm grateful for this, you know? And slowly but surely, unbelief starts going away. Doubt starts going away. The spirit of complaining starts going away. Praise the living God. ask you to do this to your families you know being thankful it helps us it helps our minds to focus on god you know to focus on god it renews your mind it refreshes your heart praise the living god it renews your mind But by the renewing of your, of, of your mind, you know, when you start being grateful for each and everything, your mind is renewed. Your mind is renewed. Praise the living God. And you automatically set your mind on God. You automatically set your mind that, you know, we are not complaining today that you're not going to see that I'm not blessed. You're not going to see that things are not working out. No, 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 no. You're not going to do that. You're focusing on Jesus. Praise the living God. Praise the living God. Amen. 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 You know, it is something that helps us. Being grateful helps us a lot. Being grateful for God, even when you're facing the hardest or you, you, you're on, uh, on a hill or in a valley, that is when you're in a very dark place or you're in a very, very happy place, being thankful to God throughout. Thankful. It increases your faith. It helps you remember the past things that God has done in your life, the answers that you've seen in your life, and you start seeing that, ah, if God was able to do that thing, then this thing is not too difficult for him. Your faith starts increasing. Praise God. Start counting your blessings. What are you grateful for? Is that song? Count your many blessings, name them one by one, you know? Count them, literally. Count them. And if you're not grateful for anything, thank God for life. But when you start counting your blessings, you'll come and see that indeed God has not forgotten about you. You'll start seeing that God is working in your life. You'll start seeing all these little things that you're seeing them as small. They are great things. They are milestones in your life. Yeah? amazing things that God is doing. Whenever you're tempted to think that you're not blessed, whenever you're tempted to think that you're not growing in your life, whenever you're tempted to think that your business is not making any profit, whenever you're tempted to think that your children are not doing well, start counting your blessings. Start counting your blessings. Look at it. There are people who are in prison, but you are free. There are people who are sick in, in hospitals, but you have good health. There are people who cannot clap their hands or walk, but you are able to clap your hands. You're able to, to walk to work or to school. There are people who are praying for children, but you have children. Praise God. There are people who are praying just to have a roof over their head. 
but you still you have a roof over your head in that single room in that bed sitter in that one room in that two bedroom you know there's something god has blessed each and every one god has blessed and given each and every one whenever you start thinking that god has forgotten about you as i wind up i want us to read the book of colossians chapter 3 verse 17 Colossians chapter 3, verse 17. It tells us in New King James Version, and whatever you do in word or deed, that is action, do all in the name of the Lord Jesus, giving thanks to God the Father through him. Yeah? And whatever you do, in word, your words that is while speaking or indeed your actions do all in the name of the Lord Jesus giving thanks to God the Father through him so while you're speaking give thanks to God whatever you're doing give thanks to God enter is God's with praise and thanksgiving this power in praise and thanksgiving. With the praise and worship. And we've always had so many testimonies, people telling us, ah, but see when you guys were singing, this is something that broke. I don't know what happened in my spirit. I was just revived. I was just refreshed. I came when I had so much bitterness and burden in my heart. And out of nowhere, they just vanished. When we start thanking God, it is real. Thanking God, it is real. Chains are broken when you start thanking God. Blessings start coming when you start thanking God. Praise the living God. In whatever you do, give thanks to God. Give thanks to God. You know, Ephesians 5.20 tells us, giving thanks always for all things to God the Father in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Giving thanks always. It is a habit that you need to have. Giving thanks to God always. No matter how you feel, no matter what you're going through, no matter what, whether you feel like praising God or not, give thanks. Whether you feel like today is not that day for me, give thanks. Whenever you don't feel like reading the Bible, start giving thanks to God because that feeling comes. I know that feeling comes. When you don't feel like reading the, when you don't feel like praying, give thanks. Tell God thank you. You don't have to utter so many words. Tell God thank you. Say God thank you that I get a chance to just speak to you. I'm grateful for this. I'm grateful for this. I'm grateful for this and this and that. I'm grateful. I'm grateful that you've given me the Holy Spirit. That right now, this spirit of not reading the Bible, I refuse it. No, I thank you that I get to read the word of God and I understand. Simple words. Simple words. And you'll see the great things that God is going to do in your life. Praise the living God. You know, God wants us to enjoy life. We must enjoy life. We must enjoy life. And enjoying life comes by us understanding who he is and what he's capable of. As I began, I said from the book of Hebrews, chapter 11, verse 6, that but without faith it is impossible to please him. So who is he? He's a God who rewards. 
He's a God who answers prayers. He's a God who provides. You know? Why? Because I have read it. I have seen it in my life. And I believe that is everything that I've read. And everything that I have seen him doing in my life. If you've never experienced a miracle, the greatest miracle that you get to see in your life and you ought to be grateful for is the gift of life. That if that is if you've never seen a miracle in your life. And I highly doubt that this anyone who has never seen a miracle in their life. We have something to see. We have something to be grateful for. We have something. Yeah. We have something. So therefore, I'd like us to pray. I'd like us to pray. And thank God. This is February. In the last, uh, uh, we are in the second week of February. And we've seen so many things happen this week. And I want us to just open our mics and thank the Lord. I don't know what you're grateful for, but just tell God, Lord, I'm grateful. Hallelujah. That you sent your son. Mm. That he came and died on the cross for me. Open your mics and speak to the Lord. Lord, thank you, grateful. I glorify your name. Thank you, Lord. He's called me. Lord, grateful. Thank you. You are good, Lord. God. You are good. Thank you for the Amen. In the book of Luke, chapter 17, uh, Luke chapter 17. Yeah, the Bible tells us we're going to pray that the Lord may increase our faith. Let me just open it. The Bible, the book of Luke 17, verse 5 says, The apostles said to the Lord, Increase our faith that he may increase our faith. And one way that we've learned that our faith will be increased is through thanking God. It is through prayer. It is through reading the Bible verse. And also, 
being very intentional about it and asking God, God, really, really increase my faith. So open up your mic and speak to the Lord and tell him today, God, increase my faith. Where I have, I have had unbelief, where I have shown faithlessness, Lord, I ask for forgiveness today, increase my faith. Therefore, open up your mics and speak to the Lord. Father, we come before you this morning, oh God. We thank you for your word, mighty Father, oh God. Increase our faith, mighty Father. Increase our faith, mighty Father. Father, our desire is that our faith may increase, oh God. Our desire is that our faith may increase, my dear Father, oh God. Father, our faith increases today. Our faith in you increases today. Our faith in your word increases, oh God. As we study the word, our faith increases. As we pray to you, our faith increases, my dear Father, oh God. As we have our faith, my dear Father, our faith increases, oh God. In the name of Jesus Christ. Christ, oh God. Thank you, Jesus, oh God. There is none like you, oh God. We give you all the glory. We give you all the glory. Father, we thank you that Lord, we are in in wow. Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 I'd like to hand over to our sister Phoebe. May the Lord bless you all. Amen. Thank you so much, uh, Pastor Naomi, for the word. So right now we can just pray and close from here. Father, we are grateful, O oh God, because you have taught us today. We thank you, God, because we know our faith will be increased in you, God. We are grateful, my Father, my God, because we shall have more testimonies, more testimonies to come because our faith has been increased in you, my God. I thank you, my Father, my God, even as we depart to you, our daily activities and other activities, my God, I pray that you may go with us. May you be on the lead, my Father, my God, and Lord, lead us in whatever we are going to do this new day. We bless your name. We give you the glory and honor. Let your blessings be with us today, O oh God. Be glorified, O oh God. Be lifted high. In the mighty name of Jesus, we have prayed. Amen. Amen. Now we can share the words of Christ. Amen. God bless you all. Have a blessed day, all Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you.